An unusually high number of road projects are underway in Osceola County right now, and it's all part of an effort to keep up with the population growth. Yeah, West 2 Osceola County reporter Megan Mulatto joins us live from our new bureau in downtown Kissimmee. And Megan, you've been looking into the projects that aim to keep traffic under control. Yes, I have. So last month we told you about all of the new developments popping up in Osceola County. Now we have more details on the roadways being built to access those properties and the ones being reconstructed to help ease congestion. We're told in total more than 21 road projects are underway across the county. We have a lot of roads getting ready to go under construction. So Assistant County Manager Tony O'Lory says Osceola County has been named one of the fastest growing counties in the nation. With that, she says, comes the need for new and improved roads. The nearly two dozen projects being worked on now are at different stages. We have streamlined our processes and we've got um, a lot of roads going under construction. So uh, about five will be advertised in the first quarter of next year. We've got three more that are being advertised for consultants um, in the next month. Um, and then we've got two or three more going being advertised for design in the next two or three months. She says typically it's a seven year process from planning and design to construction. Upgrades to Westside Boulevard, Sinclair Boulevard, 532 and South Poinciana are all on the list, along with the widening of Simpson Road, Boggy Creek Road, Parton Settlement Road and Neptune. Others like Sunbridge Parkway will be completely brand new. Lori says the Florida Turnpike, the Central Florida Expressway Authority and the Florida Department of Transportation also also have projects in the works, including a new beltway around the county and a new interchange at the Kissimmee Park Road exit, which is where many of the new developments will soon be built. So it's going to be hard for a little while, but we're working to help the situation. O'Lori says funding for these projects is coming from a variety of sources, including federal grants, taxes, and mobility fees that are paid for by developers. She says in the next five years, roughly $2.5 billion will be spent on transportation improvements. Live in our Osceola County Bureau, Megan Mulatto, WESH 2 News.